Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity, 12 o'clock location. We have Doodle starting as the gray Protoss, bottom left hand corner. We have Mousy starting as the blue Protoss. This is on Sylphid, which I <laughs> did not even realize. Nice, Esky. I did not even realize that uh, it was part of the map pool. This is in front of a live Twitch audience who make jokes and memes and sometimes distract me in the background. You, uh, if you're wondering when I cast these, it is on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 9.30 to approximately 11, depending on how much, how long the games are and how much time I have in between uh, on Twitch TV, Diggity SC, for the YouTube audience. I'm still trying to figure out, this is maybe if you guys have suggestions. Part of it, I'm wondering, maybe I can just drop chat here, but I'm halfway between where I like keeping it more PG for the YouTube audience, but I enjoy the Twitch audience a lot. And I prefer it just being whatever. NR, NC17, mature chat only. Uh, also, while I'm doing this, there's a guy who I'm literally looking at to like three feet away from me on the other side of my window, trimming the hedge. So if that noise picks up in the background, just FYI, it's certainly distracting to me. One gate opener for both players, no proxy tech. It looks like Doodle. So Doodle game one, I kind of casted this out of a, in a weird order, so I'm a bit like, oh, what was going on? So Doodle Game 1 really handling things mousy with some creative play, going for a plus one weapons 5-gate uh, style play, which I have absolutely not seen out of anybody. But Doodle handling it very effectively just through nice reaver control. Double gate opener here for mousy. And is scouting his way towards the 12th qualification. I guess what I'll, I'll do a map reveal on Sylphid just because... It's been a while before. It, it reminds me of a lot of the, uh, I don't know. It just feels like it's one of those standard isometric maps. This is the big aspect is everybody's played this map. It's been on ladder forever. Uh, is this high ground here where you have kind of the ramp stuff going on in middle? And I feel like that's kind of, you know, easy three and then a huge wide open map otherwise. Looks like Doodle going for a two gate himself. Chasing down that initial probe, neither player having the minerals to deposit an assimilator as of yet. And both getting a scout pretty close to the same time, although this probe looks a little bit more worse for wear. Battered as he's trying to get through that gap. Third pylon down for Mousy. Third pylon down for Doodle. And, oh, is this probe going to walk into a trap? Yep, it's gone. So, Doodle's Probe survives. Is still going to be boxed out. And honestly, I feel like this is a bigger deal for Doodle than it is for Mousy. Because Mousy, knowing Mousy's play, potentially going to follow up with something crazy. Five Zelts being produced. A simulator down. This is going to give Doodle a decent amount of troops to go ahead and deal with any sort of follow-up. Cybernetic score plopping down for both players. So right now, basically, even build order, but Mousy, every single match we've seen, he's thrown out something different. The Zelt's marching forward. Doodle hanging nearby. Is gonna get a run. Wow. So the Zelt's out of position. Mousy, Mousy, Mousy. So unfortunately... Sacrificing information. So, first of all, this pylon going to be seen. That cybernetic score also going to get scouted. So, Doodle going to feel very comfortable producing an additional zealot just in case these zealots were looking to mix it up. So, he's going to have a slight advantage in that regard. Two dragoons being produced. But as far as the timing, basically, this is going to be a superior amount of zealots for Doodle. So as long as he doesn't completely flub the macro, the micro should win this. And upon seeing a superior amount of zealots, Mousy going to go ahead and back out. But on top of that, Doodle just getting eyefuls of information on his opponent where Mousy really doesn't have any idea what Doodle is up to. And it looks like Doodle's going to go ahead and drop a robotics facility. If I was him, was he going to even... Wow, just walking straight through that line. What a probe. He'll he'll go home and tell the other probes that story. And then I was making my way back 
and I just went through a full flock of zealots, and they didn't do anything to me because they were scared. At least that's the story I would tell. Forge warping into the bottom right of Mousy's base, so potentially going to go for another five gate plus one, something along those lines. It looks like he wants to just try to play the upgrade advantage. Doodle already opening up that egg to have better flow between his natural and his main, which leads me to believe he is going to go for two gate robo uh, reaver. Go ahead and grab his natural expansion. Let's see if he goes obs first. Another probe winding up to potentially check that natural expansion, but Mousy, yeah, just defiantly does not build robotics facilities, I guess. So Doodle's going to be able to wander up, see the double cannon. I got to say, this is a very confusing play. Typically, in, in any matchup, you don't want to put static defense down like this. But that will negate Dark Templar play. Mousy moving out with a good amount of troops, but he's still not going to have the superior troop count. Actually, he's going to have a superior amount of Dragoons because additional Zealots are being fielded. Shuttle is out. Observer, Observatory first, Robotic Support Bay to follow. But I don't think this is going to be enough pressure. Maybe this is, yeah, just two cannons to guarantee the Nexus going up a little bit earlier. Mousy actually head in the probe count over Doodle right this second. Doodle going ahead and grabbing his natural expansion. And Mousy mixing it up. Superior amount of Zealots for Doodle. And so that means that front Zealot line is going to get taken care of. But that it, with the six Dragoons versus just the three was a micro bull position to at least pick off some Zealots. It looks like Mousy doesn't want any of it, though. He's just going to go ahead and back up. It's hard to macro that sort of situation. First Reaver in production in front of an Observer. Nexus now warping up in the corner. Third gateway, and yeah, that... I gotta say, this Forge really confuses me. So Forge, rather than uh, Observer or anything else, Mousy... Sorry, Doodle moving out a probe to maybe sneak in, but he's not gonna get very far, because he's gonna just run into these three cannons. He mind these cannons, so their cannons are static defense. That's a unit that could have been a Dragoon that can move around the map. Probe taking initial hit. Yeah, finding the cannon, just backing off. At the very least, it does guarantee that units aren't going to be able to run by and confirm whether that natural's up. And that natural is up slightly earlier for Mousy. He's actually ahead three probes. But this Reaver in play and this shuttle is a huge advantage for Doodle. Very similar to game one. Mousy peeking forward with three Dragoons, wants to go ahead and get a scout at that natural expansion is just going to eat a huge shot from that Reaver. So at least confirms that Reaver's on the ground. Shuttle speed being upgraded from Doodle. Second Reaver out. Probably going to wait for that shuttle speed before he engages. Four gateways coming online. Plus one weapons now cycling. An observatory on the field as well to get initial observers. So I take it back. Mousy does build robotic facilities at some point. So he's at least got this one out. 31 versus 31 as far as the worker count, Doodle slightly ahead, but critically ahead, two Reavers. Mousy healing his army towards the third, also establishing a pylon at that nine o'clock base, maybe to see shuttle movement, or potentially, that would be a very dangerous third to take. Probe gets wiped out behind the line, Probe going for the scouting. But the unit's fanning out, looking for a rear attack from Mousy to get on top of the the Reaver and Shuttle. Plus one weapons is a ways away for this attack. And the Reavers can go ahead and just pop some of these units. But now Doodle needs to be careful. The Zealot's engaging from the rear. Dragoon's engaging inferior amounts of Dragoon's on the front. And Mousy's army just getting melted here. Able to get some shots off on the Reaver. Was able to take out that shuttle at the very least. A probe attacking the Reaver. But still, one Reaver remains. And Doodle now recognizing potentially a win condition. Just attacking forward. Reaver gets taken out, but he still has overwhelming amounts of troops. After all of the Reaver shots. Just moving into that natural expansion. 
And yeah, you can just attack move it from here. Yeah, there's four gateways worth of production to try to reinforce, but Doodle has map positioning, Mousy calling GG right there. It looks like Doodle is going to advance to the round of eight. Mousy dropping both matches with uncharacter... I gotta say, play I have not seen before in Hasu League. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.